Adam 22. Let's talk Adam 22. Adam 22 recently had um, some controversies. Some some stuff that he's been doing wrong. Let's talk about this in depth. So Adam 22, as you guys know, is a um, hip hop commentator, um, podcaster, I, I guess, right? What you would call him. Um, yeah. He <clears throat> has done a lot of very controversial things. Let's start off with number one. His falling out with a lot of his cast members. The, the talking behind the back with a lot of their cast members. With a lot of his. He recently had a reformed racist, a reformed skinhead, who has used uh, racial slurs in the past on video. Sorry, hurting. Recently got into a little accident, so just bear with me, guys. It's starting to flare up a little bit. Ah, uh, so I mean, with this being said. You would think, right? Well deserved. A lot of his castmates, a lot of his original castmates left the show. Um, they had their own little side thing going, so they're putting their efforts into that. Um, Lush One. Lush One um, talked about some stuff on Discord. Following the um, one of the other cast members, uh, D something, he uh, started off with the show. So Lush One was talking about it on Discord, uh, saying um, what Adam Twenty Two was saying behind this individual's back on live stream. Adam Twenty Two came in. Said, you've been talking shit on Discord. You've been saying all this stuff. I need you to leave. Pretty much um, terminating uh, Lush One. If you don't know who Lush One is, Lush One is a prominent uh, figure in battle rap history. Um, he has done battle raps uh, for um, Scribble Jam. He has also uh, hosted some West Coast um, battle rap venues. So this guy's like he's he's been around. Music's not that good, but if you're into battle rap, you know who he is. So now Lush One suing Adam Twenty Two. Clusterfuck, I know. Ah. Uh. Video, um, number two. His involvement with children. Now, recently, Adam Twenty Two got um, some well-deserved uh, criticism for his involvement with a sixteen-year-old girl. He was talking to her. Um, some would say grooming. I would agree with that. So, a lot of people don't know about this. Um, he actually stayed with this girl when she was 19. So, for three years, from when it was illegal to legal, he was talking to her. Now, I could only imagine what the conversations were. I could only imagine. So, we have this victim. Victim number one. Let's not also forget a lot of the young um, uh, 16 and 17 year old talents he had on his show. Young talents who had young fans, young people going to their shows, 
and kids backstage to their shows. They're friends. I mean, these are 16, 17 year olds. So you would assume some of their friends are 14, 15, 16. There's probably girls back there who are underage. And Adam is back there with them. Now, I don't think this is an isolated incident. I, I, I really don't. I believe Adam 22 is a predator. Not just a predator on the black community. Not just a predator on the hip hop community. Not just a predator to his employees. He's a predator to children. Now, nothing's really come out, right? Nothing's come out about him grooming and talking to other kids. At least, not that I know of. Nobody else has come out. The vlog was written a while ago. People got their hands on it, right? People read it. People were like, yeah, this ain't fucking okay, dude. You're really crossing the line with all of this. You're really crossing the line. Adam 22 tried to go on Joe Budden's show and talk about it. And Joe, Joe Budden wasn't having it. He wasn't going to allow himself to weasel his way out. Number three, Adam 22 being a snake. Yes, yes, Adam 22, of all people, is a tattooed uh, ex-skater snake. Now, he hopped on to this whole trend when it was SoundCloud rap. When it was SoundCloud. A bunch of depressed, depressed depressed-ass music, depressing-ass music. A bunch of kids, young adults who were depressed, face tattoos, doing drugs all day long. He took advantage of them. I mean, you see some of his interviews. You see some of the vlogs. You see some of the stuff that he did in the past. He's fucked up. Kids are fucked up around him. I mean, these are kids. 16, 17, say what you want. Weirdo, stop it. You're weird. Stop it. You're fucking weird. They're still kids, right? I mean, they're still, they should be in high school, right? They should be getting their GED. They're in the prime of their life and they're hanging out with somebody pretty much in their thirties doing drugs and he's at their shows. He's interviewing them. He's um, guilting them into doing drugs. He is the bad influence He's like the the family the, the family friend uncle where you know mom and dad say don't get too close to him he's kind of fucking off we love him but he's kind of off that's what he is um I I think here's the thing I I think his platform is going a whole another direction right it's going to a whole another direction because he sees that the rap content really isn't really isn't there anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like that era it is gone, right? Adam 22 and Vlad, it's gone. Vlad's uh, he's interviewing fucking mobsters. He's interviewing inmates. He's interviewing war veterans, right? And Adam 22 is interviewing um, neo uh, uh, reform neo Nazi racists. So, let's recap. He's a back. He's a backstabber. He's a snake, and he's a predator. Adam twenty two. Fuck you. You're a weirdo. You're a weirdo. See, once you were called out, instead of being like, okay, yeah, it was fucking weird. Yeah, it was wrong. You tried to make it seem right. That's your fucking problem. You don't own up to it like a man. So, this has been Suck, guys. And hopefully, uh, hopefully I have 22, uh, reaps what he sows. All right, guys. Sut out.